uh, I don't know how to break this to you, and uh, let me see if I can find a way to do it that makes sense. Kamala Harris is an idiot, okay? Um, just want to let you know, if you think Joe's bad, well, he may be senescent by virtue of his dotage or by virtue of his, his, uh, his decrepitude, but she's out of her tree now. He wasn't always like this. I mean, he had bad judgment. He was crazy. He was, he was always a liar. He was a liar. But he had a degree of loquacity. He was kind of interesting in his delivery. He, he could put words together. He didn't just say things that were, you know, self-evident about community banks and the community. He wasn't a, a he wasn't patently Stupid. In fact, there, there's, there were some times when Joe said some stuff, and I thought, wow. How about the defense of marriage? Because a marriage is between a man and a woman. Come on, man. And Hillary did it too. No, J Joe, Joe had his moments. Joe, of course, would just say whatever you want because not only he's, he's almost psychopathic in his inability to, to, strict, to, to stick to any particular structured ideology or the like, but still, remember what I'm telling you. Joe Biden is, or was, at one particular point, he was good. He, he spoke uh, lucidly and was uh, the advocate and the author of some positions that I think many of us would agree with. Kamala Harris, no. She's an imbecile. She is a buffoon. She is... Come on. And people are getting... They're excited about her. Have you not listened to anything she has ever said? Have you not? I mean, wow. You do know about her. And does anybody know about the whole Willie Brown thing? Remember Montel? And does that matter to anybody? Apparently not. I guess not. She is a nincompoop. She is an imbecile, a beocean. It's it's not that she's she's not a you know a good public speaker. She's amiable enough if you believe in this incoherent, insincere cackling. If that if that means anything, if that does anything to you, maybe I guess. But can you believe people are even talking about this? They're even talking about this for the love of God. Are you kidding me? It defies anything I've ever seen before. First of all, you got this moron, Joe, who is gone, who is just gone. I mean, he has been gone for so long, but now they just figured it out. Okay, and then you're going to replace him with this woman. You know what, Democrats? You do it. And I hope you could, I hope you do it. I hope you continue to do it. I hope you maintain this course of action that you're on. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. Good for you. You. America needs her with her wit, her warmth. Or is that that sickeningly anodyne and syrupy? Remember that Drew Barrymore? Can we call you Mamala? Mamala? Get. I mean, I, I'm on a different planet. I'm in a parallel universe, and this is all being concocted just to fool me. I know this. You're probably in on it, too, because this cannot be happening. In the year 2024, this, do, 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 you, do you realize, do you realize that that debate you saw the other day was something that you've never seen before? It's like seeing the only solar eclipse ever or seeing the first, you know, meteor shower ever. This has never happened before. Never. And now my dream is going to be, and dear friends, please, Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Think of this. Kamala Harris, with her word salad, her logolalia, which is the term, with a tad of logoria, with this disjointed nonsense. Imagine her against Donald Trump. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I, 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 just, I just, I just want you to grasp the notion of this: Donald Trump against 
the dingbat. This Irwin Corey meets, you know, Unwin meets, uh, I don't know, this, this gibberish, this, again, this logo Lele. I can't believe what's happening. And the rest of the world is looking at us like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We go from somebody who was functionally brain dead by virtue of senescence to somebody who has the wit and intellectual wherewithal and the functional mentation of a soap dish or a dart or a speed bump or an egg timer. Somebody who was just embarrassing. And here's the best part, too. She doesn't even want it. See, I want somebody who wants to be president because it, there's a fire in their belly. They need this. They must have this. This is something that they have to have. They dreamt about this. They thought about this. They wanted this their whole life. This is their ambition. She doesn't want this. Let me just leave you with this thought. Imagine she's sitting across from Vladimir Putin or Xi Jinping or, or anybody else for that matter, and they're looking at her. And any kind of cultural chauvinism aside, a dingbat? A dingbat? Is there anybody in any country who is the functional equivalent of either Joe Biden now, or was it, I mean, aside from Woodrow Wilson in the old days, or Kamala Harris? No. How embarrassing is this? It's supremely embarrassing. It is off the charts embarrassing. But the good news is, she's losing, he's losing. It's Trump 2024. Now it's time for you to weigh in and comment as you see fit.